doing my best uh, Gary Walker today. Got my real tree on and my boonie hat. Today we're gonna build a turkey tractor. Oh, hang on a second. Chicken or chicken or beef. The turkeys are ready for some sunshine. So we're gonna build them a little bit of a tractor. Then they're gonna go to the farm. All right, let's get started. Turkey stink. All right, this is that Lufkin tape measure. Let's see if we can do any better today. Indoors with no wind. That's 10 feet the two times I've tested. So an important thing to remember when you're using scrap wood, you know, I want to make this thing somewhere along the lines of four by eight, but since I'm using scrap wood, I don't know if I have eight footers, 10 footers, you know, I mean, yeah, I can measure them, but what you want to do is find the two boards that you want to use, measure the shortest, cause you can't make it longer, measure the shortest, and then go off that board for your measurements. So my shortest one is seven feet. I don't have another two by four that I want to use. I don't have another two by four that I even want. So it looks like this thing's going to be seven feet long. Forty-fiving these ends. I'm gonna show you a real simple trick to do that if you don't have like a uh, you know, speed square or something like that. You can never have enough speed square. Whatever board, two by four, one by four, four by four, two by six, whatever, get you another one that's the exact same thing, another two by four. Lay it perpendicular. Make you a mark at the top with your handy dandy carpenter's pencil. See, here's my mark. And then I take my straight edge, all these tools, and I'm using a board and a screw as a straight edge and a carpenter's pencil. And you make your line. You guys can see that better if I used a carpenter's pencil. <laughs> anyway, it's running right through there. So that's a perfect 45 degrees of a two by four, or a perfect 45 degrees of two by six, two by eight, what have you, you get the idea. All right, so the same rules apply. I'm gonna tack down this welded wire and some of this hardware cloth here. You wanna use your lines and your hardware cloth to keep your lines straight. When you do cut a 45 so you can slide it easier on the ground, if you put your next board, your adjoining board on that 45, you basically just wasted cutting a 45 because this is gonna drag. So you wanna move that back a little bit. It's probably about six inches or at least the width of this board. When you pick it up, you're not just dragging on this, you can actually drag on your slope. If any of this sounds highly intelligent or really smart, it's because I made those mistakes. The greatest carpenters fix their mistakes before anybody sees them. That's what makes them great. All make mistakes. Building man, what are you doing? Hey, you want to see something cool? Yeah. Come over here. Baby turkeys. Let me hold them with you because they'll take off running. Do not catch them. Are they fast? They're very, very fast. The little ones are the other ones. The chickens, they're in the backyard. They're all grown now. That's my biggest egg and my smallest egg right now. 
Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good, man. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. And uh, that's why I started a farm. So. All right. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is he stacking them two by sixes on there? Well, because I think them turkeys can get through my welder wire. That's all I've got. I don't have enough chicken wire. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is it gonna be heavy? Heck yes, it's gonna be heavy. But I work out a little bit. Not as much as my dad. My dad is the reason I don't work out. Because genetically I'll look like him at 62, right? This is what I mean when I say all your measurements have to matter. All of them. I built this fence a year ago. Just built this, knowing I was gonna have to come through it. Ladies, how's it going? Food, water, butt fertilizer. Hello. Hey, listen here. I'm just trying to pet you. Bella, back up. I hope you guys can hear this, but if you're ever not sure what side a hinge goes on, if it's a decorative interior hinge that you're recycling like I am, see how that's got a chamfer down? That would be the outside of the hinge. This would be flush against the board behind it. Cousin Nathan up in St. Louis. Hey, buddy. He's laughing at what I just did there. Carpentry runs in the jeans. It is seven feet long. Or I should say the runners are seven feet long. The pin is six and a half. From here to here, it's five feet because my welded wire was five feet. I ran it this way because it's obviously a lot harder for a turkey or anything I might put in here to jump out at an angle and squeeze through it. These slats are running vertical like those. They just run right through. So we're good. It's easy to move. You've already seen that. I could barely. I sure. So I got my uh, trusty croc flip-flops on again. I'll link those down below. I'm not a farmsteader unless you got some croc flip-flops. That's it, guys. I just lapped it over. Didn't even staple it on the inside. And again, this is temporary. Because we actually have some meat birds. We got some of those coming. And this will serve perfect for that. While we get the... Uh, Turkey's grown a little bit. All right, y'all have a good day.